Oh man, it's been a while since I've rocked out with my you know what out. Welcome to Flynn Dog Woodwork. Check me out back then. I used to have a sweet, sweet mullet. But today, instead of being in a band, I work with a band saw. And that's what we're going to use today. We're going to make a band saw box just using six cuts, believe it or not. Let's get started at the band saw and see if we can make this box. So full disclosure, I've never made a band saw box before. So we're going to walk through this process together. Now I'm going to use pine for this band saw box, but you could use any material you want. You could use exotic wood, you could use hardwood, you could even use plywood. Now the reason I'm using pine is because I've never made one of these before. So there's a good chance I might mess up. However, if you're really familiar with a bandsaw, you might want to use a nicer material. I'm also going to keep this design really simple. That's because I want to create a project that a beginning woodworker would feel comfortable tackling. There's really only two steps in creating the design for this project. All you need to do is to create the shape of the box and then the shape of the drawer. So let's get started with that and I'll grab my French curve and we'll lay out the design. So even though this isn't the most pretty design or the most complicated, that's the whole point of this video. This is a project that anybody can tackle. You can see it's got an oval shape with an oval drawer. So let's get started with our next step. So the first step of any bandsaw box is to cut out the exterior of the box. So we're going to trace these lines over at the bandsaw and start off by cutting the exterior. So over here at the bandsaw you can see I have a thin blade installed and that's exactly what we want. This will allow us to easily maneuver around the exterior and interior of this bandsaw box. So let's get started with our first cut. So now that we've made our first cut, this thing is by no means perfect. There's all sorts of saw blade marks on the exterior as well as some jagged edges and that's okay. We'll clean that up with a sander later. The important thing at this point is that we have the overall shape of the box. Now let's move on to our second cut, which is a really easy cut. We're simply going to cut off the back edge of this box. So let's go back to the table saw. Now for this step, we're going to use a bandsaw fence. Now if you don't have a bandsaw fence, you could easily clamp something down like a 2x4 to create a temporary fence. Now I've got my fence set to 3 8 of an inch, and that's what we're going to cut our back at. So here goes cut number two. So now that we have the back of the bandsaw box cut out, we're now going to work on the drawer. We're going to run our blade through the box and run around the exterior of that drawer. Once we get to the end of that drawer, we want to make sure our cut is as seamless as possible. So for this third cut, I'm going to run my blade through the bottom of the box and then I'm going to trace the drawer. Once we get around the drawer, I want to make sure that we're having a smooth, seamless transition from the beginning to the end. And for me, this is probably the most terrifying cut in this whole project. If we can get this right, the rest of the project should be a breeze. So let's get started on that cut. Now one thing to note with this cut is we're not going to be cutting through the back of the box. So let's get started. So once that third cut is made, we simply need to weave the blade outside of the box. And as you can see, once that is out, you have two pieces of the box, the drawer as well as the frame of the box. So now that we've cut out the interior drawer for this box, you can still see that it's not perfect and that's okay. This is my first time doing this and we can clean up a lot of this with the sander. You'll notice that where we entered the blade into the box, there's a little bit of kerf mark and that's what we need to glue up. So let's go get some glue and glue this kerf up. So since this is my first run at a bandsaw box, I'm just going to use some CA glue and activator to glue that kerf up. However, if I was making this as a really fancy statement piece, I would use something like a tight bond 2 to glue that kerf up. So let's glue this up and move on to the next step. So now that we have the kerf on this box glued up, we're going to take out that drawer. The next step is to do our fourth and fifth cut, which is to cut out the front of the drawer and the back of the drawer. And this is done at 3 8 of an inch, just like we did on the back of the box. So for these cuts, since my drawer is in the shape of an oval, it's a little bit wobbly. So I'm going to use a featherboard to press that drawer up against the fence. I've already got my fence sent to 3 8 of an inch, so let's go ahead and make the first cut. So now we'll take our drawer and we'll flip it over. 
And now that we've cut off the back of that drawer, you can see our featherboard is no longer touching our workpiece. So we'll adjust our featherboard and tighten it down to the workpiece. Now it's time to make the fifth cut. So now let's do a recap of where we're at. We have the box that we've cut out, we've got the back of the box, and we have the drawer. We also have the front of the drawer as well as the back of the drawer. So now all that's left to do is to cut out the interior of the drawer. So let's mark that out and start the cutting process at the bandsaw. In keeping with the simplicity of this box, I'm just gonna simply cut out a U-shape on the box. I'm not gonna be too particular about how it looks. I just wanna have a little bit of area where I can put stuff in this box. So that's the shape we're gonna cut out. Now one thing that's a little bit different about cutting out the interior of this drawer is this is all gonna be waste. So you don't have to worry about any mistakes that you make on the waste area. So let's start this cut and cut out that drawer. So now that we've cut out the interior of the drawer, you can see by adding the front and the back of the drawer, how that drawer is gonna take shape. So now we've made all six cuts. The only thing left to do is to glue the box together. We've got the base of the box as well as the back of the box that needs to be glued together. And we've got the drawer with the front and the back that also needs to be glued together. So let's glue these up and move on to the next step. So once again, I'm only gonna use CA glue on this because this is really just a test project. I wanted to make sure that I was able to make this in pine before I move on to some nicer wood. So now that we've got our box glued up as well as our drawer glued up, the only thing left to do is to sand this down. So I'm gonna go over to my sander and sand both of these items down. Now one thing you really wanna be careful with is you don't wanna sand on the exterior of that drawer. Since you have a nice fit with the kerf of that bandsaw blade, you don't wanna remove any material from the exterior of this drawer. So I'm gonna start off over at my belt sander just to remove a lot of those exterior edges. So let's get started with that. After doing some of the rough sanding at the belt sander, the last thing I want to do is to take my hand sander and just polish up all those edges. So after sanding this for a bit, I finally got it into a reasonable shape and you can see that drawer fits very nicely into the box. Now I'm going to put a darker stain on this and if there is any lines from the bandsaw, these will disappear with a darker stain. So let's go do that right now. So for the stain on this, I'm going to use a gunstock stain made by Verathane. I'm just gonna use a white rag and apply it gently on the surface of this box. And by applying the stain, I can see that those seams made from the kerf of the saw blade simply just disappear. So now that I've got some stain on this box, I'm going to apply a handle right in the center of the drawer. Now the handle I have is probably a little bit too big for this box, but it's what I have. You could also make your own handle out of a little piece of wood if that's what you chose to do. So for this, I'm just going to eyeball the center here and drill a hole out in the middle. So after drilling that hole out and temporarily attaching that handle to the box, it looked ridiculous. So I'm actually gonna take a little piece of scrap wood, glue it onto that drawer, stain it, and use this instead. Now ideally, I would have attached this handle to the drawer before I stained it, but since I made that mistake, we're just gonna go ahead with it. So after attaching the handle with a little bit of CA glue and staining it, I'm just gonna spray a little bit of spray lacquer on this box and we'll call it done. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of spray lacquer. So here it is, my very first bandsaw box. Is it perfect? No, not by any means. However, I learned a lot by making this box and I had a lot of fun making it too. This box now gives me the confidence to know that I can make one. It also gives me the confidence to be able to use things like exotic woods and hardwoods on my next box. 
And that's the point of this entire video, is to get a little uncomfortable in your shop and build something like a bandsaw box or something you've never built before. Like I said before, I learned a lot by making this bandsaw box and I increased my skill level just a tad bit more. I built this entire box in three hours, and that includes all of my filming time, as well as my mistakes and fumbling my words when I'm filming. So this is something you can definitely do in just an afternoon. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you have a bandsaw, give this little project a try, as it's really not that hard. Now your first bandsaw box is not gonna be anywhere near perfect, just like mine. It's got some issues, and that's okay. I at least gave it a try, and that's what counts. Well, thanks for joining me today on this bandsaw box build. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and leave a comment, as it really does help out this small woodworking channel. Until next time, take care as always.